L means she in French. And when I first started to get into graffiti and street art, I noticed a big lack in female presence, very obviously. My name and my art, I tend to make more feminine than I actually am because I kind of want ladies to walk around and be like, yeah, there's a girl, yeah, woman power, there she is. We are going to Grand and Grand to do a little advertisement replacement. I think that people would much rather see this than an advertisement for toothpaste or something. The best filters are amazing. They're lit from behind, so at night they glow, and they're behind a framed glass casing. So it's as if you bought like a $2,000 light box and you're displaying it on the street. I have been doing my art on the streets for about six, seven years. I've painted billboards, used fire extinguishers, I use spray paint, I paint murals. I would say the funnest and most exhilarating is definitely the fire extinguishers. It's like, go big or go home, you know. This shit will be quick. For anybody who wants to argue about whether graffiti is art or not art, if they look at these pieces, you might not like the art or you might not think it's good art, but I don't think there's any question about, is it art? Look at them. It's amazing. If you didn't know anything about it, you wouldn't know that these are letters. You know, putting your name up is a powerful thing. The show is called Unextinguished, and I think as it turns out, this is a really good name. Martha and I met together and we were trying to figure out like what made it different for us to be doing a graffiti show together. I wanted to incorporate my wheat paste. I also thought that the fire extinguishers were kind of a cool element. Martha Cooper's photographs we decided to use from this book called Street Play, which is late 70s, early 80s in New York City. I wanted to make wheat paste sculptures out of them that we could wear while Martha photographs me painting in them while we video that. I ended up making these dresses, this one right here, this image is a little girl swinging in front of a Donde tag, and it was one of the first images of graffiti that Martha ever saw and started to get her interested in graffiti. Martha, do you consider me a street artist or a graffiti artist? You're a blend. You, you do both. What I really liked about your work was that you did a lot of illegal work. I saw your tag all over, I saw stickers all over the place. That was a more exciting part for me. Getting arrested, being out late at night, climbing really high things, jumping over fences, like a lot of these things are things that a typical woman would maybe not want to do. It wouldn't appeal to her or possibly they would be a deterrent. You run into scary things, like I've been chased by a man jacking off while I was wheat pasting. There are crazy people out at that hour. You're out by yourself, you're doing your work. One of my arresting officers asked me on a date. You know, like there's things as a female in the graffiti and street art world that you wouldn't have as an obstacle, I think, as a male.